I'm Cynthia, queer author of Spiritually Single in Sickness and Health, A Woman's Guide to Healing at a Soul Level and Twin Flames Beyond the Veil of Illusion. I work with soul healing at an in-depth level to help others attain mastery of the soul. When I stepped onto my spiritual path over 40 years ago, I did so at a time of great adversity in my life. Now, did that mean that by the time I got to this point, that all of it was behind me and my life was rosy and I just got to bask in the spiritual knowledge in luxury and comfort? Absolutely not. I've had a very rough go of it. I have been diagnosed with a malignant neoplasm that is going to be terminal if I don't get medical treatment for it. I have been outpriced because I am labeled a catastrophic medical case and I have faced the results of medical malpractice due to too high of dosages of radiation. So what I write about in my books are all experiences that I have been through and I have been able to assess as to why we are living in the limitations and the restrictions in our society that we are. And I realized when I came onto social media that even though we had developed at a high level of technology and many people had opened up in spiritual awareness on many levels that the attitude and the ignorance in the majority of spiritual communities was the same as it was in the early 1980s. And I can't tell you the insanity that I have seen coming from people who base their teachings on the promise of getting on a financial level, manifesting whatever it is they want in their life. And the biggie is forcing a physical union with who they feel is their twin flame. And that somehow life is going to be perfectly rosy if you have all of these things and you ascend into the dimension of 5D and you completely step out of this 3D matrix that everyone is talking about. Yet, the greatest insanity is with 
many people who are calling themselves master teachers and preaching these lies. One of the biggest ones of all is the lie that evil really doesn't exist on this planet. The other lie is that when something happens to somebody that is the epitome of evil, such as a heinous criminal act or murder, they either drew it to themselves or it was this perfect divine timing for them to go out. I cannot ethically make any more videos until I stress the point to you that yes, evil does exist and that God cannot interfere with the choice an individual makes when they choose to work with those forces through greed, lust, all forms of gross materialism the need to control others, their necessities of life, whether they live or die by refusing the right to medical care they need. I'm going to be very honest with you. When you live in a culture that is promoting assisted suicide and denying proper heat and proper air and forcing people to live in extreme cold or extreme heat because of the hoarding of utilities, And that leading to the hoarding of food because production is limited and ingredients are filled with other things besides wholesome, nutritious food filled with things that are chemically based or grown in a lab somewhere. None of this is divine. None of this is what God intended for humanity. Our purpose on this earth plane, if we choose the path of evolution and to grow at a soul level is to see the truth for what it really is. Because in doing so, we are not focusing on the negative. That is not something that is all-consuming. Because if we have that faith in God and we put that presence first in our heart, we are going to be able to withstand whatever comes our way. 
and the more we open at a soul level, the more trust we develop. And through that trust comes faith. And when you are working on a physical level to complete the tasks that you must do to raise your vibration in awareness, you are going to be open to guidance. That is inevitable. That you will be given help from the other side to instruct you through these difficult True soul mastery is not going to be attained by wishing something away and not facing the truth. Something happens to you that you don't want to deal with. If you embrace it, this is where your growth is going to come. This is how the angelic forces are able to work with you. These are where the true miracles are manifested. They are not manifested through denial, isolation, avoidance, and the unwillingness to intelligently discuss issues that are putting the lives of humanity at risk. True soul mastery is not going to be attained by over wishing evil and not facing who is controlling you, who is governing you, and the motives that they have. True soul mastery is not going to happen through any form of spiritual fanaticism that dictates that you go under some type of guru because the elitists are telling you that this is the thing to be doing. None of this is going to get you prepared for what you will ultimately face. Because this need for escapism that so many in the spiritual community have, and that includes those who are teaching it, is actually the fear of death. Because it is a form of slipping into the survival mode. That mode of all just think it away, and therefore it won't manifest in my life. But ultimately, everything that we are meant to face 
we are going to face it whether we want to or not. And bucking up against it is only going to make it that much more difficult. Because the real mastery is in the trial. It is embracing the challenge. I wish you great love and many blessings on your journey. Namaste.